Hello friends and fellow C Sharpers, this is Quellen coming back at you again with a, another C Sharp video. Uh, today we are going to be covering uh, MDI Children and this is by request of Sol Johnson. Uh, incidentally he's uh, sent a request for me to make a video um, asking could you make a video on how to make a main parent form. A button on the parent form will then open a child form, form 2. This um, then that child form 2 has also a button on it which would make a child form 3 and at the same time it would close the original child form 2. I've been having trouble figuring this out even though it should be fairly simple. So yes it's uh, relatively straightforward once you know how so um, but if you don't know how then obviously it's not simple at all. So without further ado let's get on with the coding. So just a quick summary, here's the main form. We've already created the application and I'm just going to be walking you guys through the code to save a bit of time. This is a simple form and um, we told it it's a child container and we put a button on it. So when we click this button, it will create a child, child zero. And on child zero, we actually have a button called create child. When we click on the child's button, it creates another child, child one, also containing a button. And at the same time, it closes child zero. So click again child one goes away, child two is produced, etc, etc, etc. This goes on infinitum. Okay, so let's look at the code. So here's the main form, select the form. First thing we do is we have to tell the uh, system that it's a child container. So we look at the code and in here you'll see that within the um, form parent constructor, obviously primary class name is form parent, so this is the form class. Inside there we have a constructor called form parent. We firstly initialize the uh, components. This is done by default when you create a project, so we don't have to worry about that. But then we do add this line here. We're telling it that this, i.e. the form, dot, its MDI container property equals true. So we're telling it that it's actually going to be containing MDI children, okay? MDI, multiple document interface. So it's going to be containing children. Okay. So the next thing that we did was to obviously add a button. Double click the button. Okay, and that will create the button uh, event handler, make child click. Obviously, it'll be button one click for you unless you rename the control to whatever you wish to make it. Um, I've called mine make child, call it what you like. Um, and, the f and the function of this button is to create a new child from the main form. Okay, and we have created ourselves a new method. And this method is called make a child window. And we've defined that method down here. And we've given it a quick description up here called custom a child window or function in here the first thing we do is we create a child object um, in memory and then we tell the child object um, who its parent is and we tell it that this is its parent this being the the main windows form um, which is the parent class so we tie its address to the M to the child or MDI parent handle or property Okay, then we give the child a name. This is used um, to point at the child. So later on we can um, access features or properties of that child window by its name, as you'll see later. We then give the um, child a title. So this is the title that appears on the main drag bar at the top of the um, form here. You'll see it's called MDI parent. When we create a child here, you'll see it's got child zero. That is the title. Um, and then we actually add, now this is the, um, uh, this is the meat and the bone, as it were, um, where we create a event handler. Okay, so we do child dot button clicked plus equals new event handler child button clicked. Um, okay, so this is essentially uh, us subscribing to a button click event. Okay, which we'll be creating inside of the child window, which you will see momentarily. Inside the event handler, we pass the event handler function. Okay, so we've called our event handler function child button clicked, and down here you will see that we've created a new function called child button clicked, and in it we pass two common properties: an event arguments property and an object property. The object being the sender, which is actually the object of the button within the um, uh, child window, um, and then the event arguments, which will be the mouse cursor locations and the uh, button um, condition, be passed up to this particular function. Within here, we have a logical statement checking to see if the uh, if we actually have an active MDI child. If active MDI 
uh, active MDI child was null, then we don't actually have any child windows de being displayed on the window. Um, if it's not null, then we have an active child and we want to close it. So this line here will then close that child window down and we will no longer have any children. And this next line then recalls the make child function, which we've already been through up here, and creates a new child. Now you'll see in here the child name and the child title texts actually have a uh, a parameter of being added to them child ID which we've declared up here in global okay we've set it to zero so the first child will be zero and then what we do is we increment this post haste so we will add the child ID which is zero and then we will increment child ID so that when we come back into this function child ID will now be equal to one and then two and then three and then four so on and so forth convert that to a string and we append that to child and then we plop that onto the uh, title uh, title bar Okay, so that's the main form and the main form code. Pretty straightforward. Um, what I'll do here is I will slowly scroll down the window so that you can peruse the comments at your leisure, see exactly what's going on on the main form. Okay, and down here we'll expand the button click event handler and you can see what's going on in there. Okay, very simple. And straightforward and then we go to form 2 now for form 2 which is the child form we essentially create a new form nothing special there we pop another button on it we create it we call it create child button okay right click view code in here there's nothing special other than the button to click event so again to create the button to click event just double click on your button so it'll create this button click event automatically and then inside of this button click event you will need to add this uh, line or block of code so essentially what we're doing here is we're checking to see if somebody's actually subscribed to the button click event um, and if they are then we will um, uh, we, we will fire off the event and we will send the current object which is the button class remember we said earlier about the button class will get passed in the sender and then the event args will go into e um, because this is a mouse click event or button click event um, it passes the actual mouse x y coordinates up through this um, event argument parameter one other thing you need to notice here is that up here we've created our button event handler so with all events you need to create the event handler now this is actually a built-in event handler built into windows so we don't have to declare what's called a delegate outside of the uh, class inside the global namespace um, we will talk about that in a future video uh, if you want to pass custom properties or custom parameters between children then you would create a custom event handler you would use a delegate um, and then the rest of the code would be very similar okay so we check to see that we've subscribed to the event handler if we have then we fire off the event and we let the subscribers know that the button's been clicked okay so has anybody subscribed to the event well of course they have if you come back here to main to form one you'll see here we are actually subscribing to the event here look button click event yeah so this is where we subscribe to that event handler so somebody has actually subscribed to it we have in form one therefore we're going to let form one know and we are going to send it some parameters simple as that okay hope you found that useful if i went through too fast let me know i have a tendency to go quite quick but i do also know that um, audience retention time is quite uh, short um, and i would like to get a lot covered in a short period of time thus all of the comments and speed um, demo so anyway without any more nattering let me know if you like the video if you did please subscribe and like please send me comments and please give me advice for future videos and i look forward to talking to you guys again in the future at some point happy c sharping take care for now bye